Oh, yeah. Because okay. yeah. yeah. I've got like a 3D TV, and you know, when you press the 3D button on things that aren't 3D, and then you can adjust it, you know? And you spend like about half an hour or an hour doing it, and then you're like, should I have the time to watch the movie? <laughs> Where do you want that in your living room? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hi, Matt. Hi. Hey. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Yeah. We're all a little bit like, who was that? Okay. I'm so what was about this character that made you want to come back and do it again? Um, the money. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Thank you, he's, he's, no, no, he's one of the best literary characters of the 21st century, man, I think. You know, he's, um, no, he's such a great character to play, and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy playing him on the, on the show on the TV show and then on Arrow and then to get to you know do him in this medium in this context as well was a great thing and to have him interacting with characters that we didn't get to see on the TV show as well like Zatanna and Batman and, and uh, Swamp Thing and you know all of which he has various different precarious relationships with that was uh, that was such a great thing to kind of explore. Um, what was your favorite thing or your favorite scene to film during the Constantine show? Uh, Oh, okay. Back in the, do you know what? The, the, my favourite episodes were episode eight and nine. Well, actually, I got three favourite episodes. It's like a feast of friends, like because John Joe Neal is my best, one of my best friends, right? And we were so lucky to, to like that he he got that role. And you know that scene at the end when we're at the theatre, it's just like that's me. We get that shit for free. Do you know what I mean? It was like it was great. So that was one of my favourite scenes actually. The feel that that one at the end when. Uh, when he says, you bastard, John. And it's like, hey, Gary, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, that, that was probably one of my favorite scenes and episodes to play. And then playing the demon as well, and I put the demon inside me, that was kind of fun. Or pretty exhausting, but you know, you just get to kind of like, you know, I think it was like four months of all that work, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was good. Um, because it's animation, you can do a lot of things in this that like, you probably couldn't do on the show. Is there something you were really looking forward to seeing your character get to do? Um, well, I think the way they use magic is, is different, you know, you can do a lot more in animation than you can, you know, you have to pay lots of money to do special effects on, um, and seeing, you know, him, he can, you know, shoot bolts of, uh, shoot fire out of his hand, you know, he can do all that sort of stuff, which we kind of didn't do on the TV show, it was more kind of, um, uh, uh, we, we, we had a slightly different approach to it, so that was really fun to do, actually and kind of fun to explore as well. The spells, again, I always found the spells really difficult uh, in the TV show, and they were, it, it was the same here, you know, because you're literally like, hey, get my head around that in five minutes, you know. It's, on the TV show, we used to have like, I think I spoke about like 10 or 11 different languages over the course of the time, and we used to have a real exorcist who would, they would contact and get real spells, and then they would, uh, they would get me like dialect and language coaches but with the, with the speed and the turnaround of, of TV it was always like really difficult to get that down so sometimes I have to have an earwig in so that I could have the dialect person speaking Hebrew to me and I'd find a rhythm with them so that we could kind of so that that stuff was was uh, was interesting and going back to that in the animation was was fun as well and we had a lot of fun in the studio me messing it up you know? <laughs> Were you interested in the Mystic Arts before becoming a blazer, or has it touched you in any way? Um, yeah, I think that, you know, I've always been kind of interested in that sort of stuff somewhere along the line, you know, since I was a kid watching kind of uh, lots of stuff growing up, and yeah, I've always been interested in that, and uh, uh, just, just kind of like reading as many Hellblazer comic books as possible as I did, you know. It was funny because like what I used to do is I used to, after work, I'd, we'd be filming for like 12 to 15 hours or whatever, whatever it was, and I'd go and I'd eat and I'd go, and before I went to bed I would lay in bed and read uh, as much of a comic as I could and I had to kind of stop doing that because it's like, you know, you're putting that shit in your head before you go to bed and then it's like, I was kind of getting no break from like waking up <laughs> like, you know, like, just, you know, I need to like watch some like cartoons or something, you know, like uh, see tally tallies before I go to bed. Do you still have the trench coat? Huh? It's a bad coat. You still have the trench coat? Well, yeah, do you know what? I stole the trench coat. <laughs> yeah, no, yes. I would too. I stole it's a bad the coat. lighter. 
They're not here. They're not here. They're probably not going to write that. Not going to write that. Um, no, it's it's recording for next time. Like, like, so, same. yeah, um, actually, I think that, I think that they, a friend of mine has them in LA, has like a whole costume of mine. And, um, and then I stole the lighter, and they only had two of them made. And I think they cost like a lot of money to be made. But they like all those engravings. And on the last day, the props master was like, what's your lighter sign? <laughs> I'm sure I give it to you. I think I lost it. It's, like, shit. it's magic. Man, I'm so sorry. I think I left it on that. Yeah, I think it's on that set. Like, <laughs> I still got it. Man. I don't take it out with me or use it though, because I, sure. I I lose lighters all the time. Yeah. I don't lose that. Were there uh, sure. any differences between playing Constantine? As yourself, or and playing Constantine as an anim uh, as voice actor. I mean, the, the 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 major difference is you don't get a chance to interact with anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what's there's, there's pros and cons to that, you know. Um, the, the, the good thing about it is, is like you know, I, I did the, vo like the voice and the, the full motion capture for Edward Kenway for the, uh, the Assassin's Creed Black Flag video game, yeah. and um, and this was very different to that. But the way in which you use your imagination um, doing motion capture is, you know, you've got a stick and the stick has got these dots on it, and that's a gun, yeah. that's a that's a sword, that's it's everything. You just got to imagine it, and it's kind of the same here. I actually kind of cast the whole piece in my head. So that then I could kind of like play with them in my head. Do you know what I mean? You just make yourself go mad for a couple of days, you know. And then, uh, but uh, but yeah, that's the main difference. You don't really have anyone to kind of like bounce off. But um, but I I found that also freeing as well in a way because I could cast anyone I wanted. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. So this is bit pros and cons for it, but that was the major difference. Who did you cast in your mind? I can't tell you that. No. I can't tell you that. Everyone has their secrets. <laughs> in any of the DC properties, but the, this animated universe is much different from both the Arrowverse and the universe that you were in on your own. So, you know, did you tweak him at all when you came to the animated universe, or is he still kind of who you were? I think the DNA of the character has kind of remained the same throughout all of the, all of the kind of uh, incarnations of him then. In a way, I mean, obviously the Hellblazer stuff is a lot darker than the New 52 stuff was. I haven't read the new Hellblazer. I've actually got the the, the issue, uh, but I haven't read it yet. But um, I think that you know, I kind of brought what I knew, what my Constantine to the table, and then put, you know, just try to play out what our story was we were telling and what situations we were in, and then kind of like using like whatever knowledge I'd obtained from reading the comics and just some dark stuff to implement that into the relationships that he has with the different characters who I hadn't interacted with on the live action. So so that that's, that was the kind of main challenge. And the great thing as well, I'm like, oh, Satana, right, great, all that shit, you know? And, and Swamp Thing, you know, is his relationship with Swamp Thing, which was, which was great. It's a shame we never got to do a scene with with me naked in, in the actual show because I would have liked to have the tattoo of the, the tree. thing on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you and how are you not, I guess, like John? Uh, how, how, how are you similar and not similar? Um, I, I don't know. God, I don't know. I, don't know. I, li I, I like to have a lot. I, his, I think our humour can be slightly the same, very dry sometimes, you know, but I'm definitely not a bastard like him. I, don't <laughs> I think I'm a lot nicer. I'd like to think I was anyway. So, yeah. I'm not blonde. No, I enjoy being blonde. It's kind of cool for a while. Although you have to get your roots done every two weeks, man. Like, yeah. I know, I know how you go. The big girls feel, you know. Like, oh, guys, <laughs> like, you, know, you know, when you have to get your roots done every 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 week or so. Uh, what do you think the future of John's character is? Oh. I, don't, I have no idea. Ooh. No idea. I mean, any, any chance of him back in the DC TV universe again anytime soon? Um, I don't know. I I, I wouldn't be again. I'd love to play him again. I mean, like, it's so great to be able to do this. Do it. You know, in this me, in this medium, in this context, uh, since I did Arrow, I've been lucky enough in this crazy business that um, that I've been I've been working pretty pretty much all the time, pretty steady since then. And this is kind of the first time I've had a bit of time to kind of take a break. And uh, I've just finished shooting something in London, and so I'm kind of technically free again now. So uh, you know, who knows? Who knows if, if they want me back? Then uh, you know, I'd, I'd be up to it. Can we push for a? Uh 
save Constantine in the uh, <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow or hey, I, Flash? I'm, I'm, not or... Say, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> you guys do your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's a great character, man. It yeah, really people love. Him. People yeah, love. It. Yeah, yeah. For, for me to, to play to play him again as well. It's just like it's fun. Like when we when I did Arrow that moment when uh, okay, when we did when I did Arrow. And there was that moment with the peacock feather. There was this whole bowl of feathers. I was like, what's the peacock feather for? What's that? What? I'm just going to scratch my back. And I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea, like, like what I was doing, really. I was just like, you know, it was just one of those moments you come up with. Yeah. And then I kind of realized that it was a, a peacock feather and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that, like, those, those moments as well, the character lens in those, in those final moments for you to be able to kind of like make up that kind of stuff, which is really cool. Thank you very much. I give you Phil Barasso. No, 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 not right now. 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 Sit. I know.